Hey guys, I've got some exciting breaking news and whenever there's a new vehicle to announce and especially when there's a new vehicle to show off that is the best selling vehicle in that manufacturer's portfolio, well it's big news and right behind me is probably one of the biggest news stories of the week if not of the month at least for Hyundai that is the brand new 2020 Hyundai Tucson now keep in mind that year to date Hyundai has sold over 80,000 Tucsons making it their best selling model in 2020 so in this video we're gonna show you everything we can about the new Tucson we're gonna look at styling yep me and you talking styling we're gonna look at the interior we're gonna look at the powertrains we're gonna talk about the new N Tucson yep there's an N coming of course technology and finally pricing and EPA numbers so sit back and relax or keep driving if you're driving if you're watching this while driving you should probably pull over and let's get right to it so let's talk about styling now to me it's pretty sexy. It comes because of a concept that they introduced a few years ago, which we thought was going to be all electric, but this is not all electric. It looks a little bit, just a little bit like a sleepy Q5. Let me know in the comments below what you think the new Tucson looks like. Keep in mind, this is the uh, brand new, I believe, fourth generation. So it's been around a while. So a lot of you have probably seen the Tucson out on the street. Um, so certainly looks much more well sleek and striking compared to the outgoing model and of course it still keeps that usable crossover shape it's not a coupe in other words back here it doesn't slope down giving you headroom and plenty of storage room um, half mirror type daylight running lights with integrated into the grill so as you can tell the running lights well you know they look like the design elements in the rest of the grill which is something that's pretty unique and at least I haven't seen of course there are a lot more angles and a lot of edges in the outgoing model uh, and around the back a unique LED with a full width rear tail light and that is of course something that uh, has been a design trend recently I remember seeing it for the first time in the new Porsche 911 then of course Lincoln did it as well and what it does is it kind of emphasizes the width of the car uh, and like with anything like with any kind of design oriented product there are trends and of course that light going across the entire back is a part of that now Hyundai has moved their batch into the rear glass making room for new lights move the wiper into the rear spoiler and interestingly and this is of course because well let's not mince words Tesla uh, no exhaust ports not even fake ones yep it's no longer cool at least uh, in some parts of uh, North America to show that you are uh, driven by uh, burning dead dinosaurs and don't send me your emails I know it's not technically dead dinosaurs it just sounds cool and personally I'm happy about that because you know oil is such a useful substance you can use it for things like plastic that it seems like a shame to actually burn in an exhaust all right uh, let's keep going um, on the interior now um, dramatically updated from the last generation as you can tell by this picture uh, vertically stacked dual 10.25 inch touch screens an 8 inch screen is standard uh, on the lower trim uh, levels and of course check this out on the top end no hard buttons is there that T word again that might sound familiar? Because of course Tesla is very sparing in their hard buttons. Uh, open hood, less digital gauge cluster, um, and a gear selector change to a push button style similar to the new Sonata and the Palisade. And that's of course the other design trend, or maybe it's a functionality trend, because what happens is when you get rid of you know, the traditional gear selector, be it a lever, uh, be it, some kind of a funky German toggle switch then what you do is make up more room uh, for like storage bins or iPhone or any kind of mobile phone chargers so everybody's going to push buttons I'm not a huge fan I just find it uh, not intuitive uh, but once you're used to them then you're used to them um, floating center console with I uh, get the 64 color ambient mood lighting seen that for the first time in Mercedes of course Mercedes is keen on letting you pick the uh, type of rave you want inside your Mercedes uh, be it hot pink or hot purple Hyundai is letting you do the same thing once again another design trend probably saw it in things like the uh, Ford Focus our Fiesta had it for a long time basically you can pick the interior color of your vehicle depending on your mood or maybe the mood 
maybe the interior color changes your mood. I don't know. I'm one of those kind of guys who uh, just kind of sets it and forgets it. All right, now we've got more cargo space in the back, up to uh, 38.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats, according to uh, Hyundai. Now, keep in mind, normally, uh, if we were not under COVID times, we would be at an auto show, probably crawling around and showing you all this stuff. Unfortunately, with, uh, well, the way 2020 is going, the best you can do is get me talking about it and looking at some video and some pictures, but at least you get all the information first. Now, uh, under the hood, um, you might think it's all electric, but it's not. First, there are two powertrains available. There's a, a new engine, a 2.5 liter four cylinder, naturally aspirated, no turbocharging or supercharging. Puts out 190 horsepower, 182 pound foot of torque, and it comes mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. Yep, eight speed automatic. Once upon a time, five speed was the standard. Today, I think 10 speed's a new eight speed, but we're getting an eight speed here. Now you can also get a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid uh, with a 1.6 liter four-cylinder. Um, the engine puts out 180 horsepower and 195 pound-foot of torque on its own. Uh, combined with the electric motor, uh, the hybrid power system is 230 horsepower and 258 pound-foot of torque. Hyundai's mated it up to a six-speed automatic transmission instead of a CVT. Uh, very similar to the Sonata Hybrid, if you're familiar with that. Wahoo! No more CVT. And I'm going to say, uh, wahoo, no more dual clutch. I'm actually getting a little tired of dual clutches. When they first came out, uh, they were used in things like, well, high-end sports cars. And more high-end sports cars and of course then they kind of migrated their way down to things like fiestas and well it created a train wreck uh, for a lot of people because uh, maybe they weren't ready for prime time or maybe people figured out that driving a dual clutch in let's say LA traffic is no fun. Uh, so on the hierarchy of transmission at least in my humble opinion you still have that automatic up here above it of course for car guys and for you car gals is of course a manual uh, then below that would be a dual clutch, um, below that would be a CVT, uh, and below that would be, uh, I don't know, what's below a CVT? Um, how about a fixie? Is there such a thing as a, no, that's a bike thing. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, there will be a Tucson N-Line coming, and of course N is Hyundai's version of AMG, or M if you're a BMW fan, or RS. Uh, if you're an Audi fan, it seems to be the thing nowadays that every brand has to have a high-end performance version, which is a good thing because, well, let's face it, you don't want to park your uh, brand new uh, sleepy Q5, sorry, um, Hyundai Tucson uh, next to one that looks exactly the same. You want to have the uh, hot tamale spicy N version. Uh, no official details yet. Uh, Hyundai said they will announce more at a later rate, date, but keep in mind that the Sonata N uses a 2.5 liter turbo engine, puts out, get this, 290 horsepower, 311 pound-foot of torque. Uh, is it possible that that engine is going to slot into the Tucson? Heck yeah, look at those wheels. I mean, look how aggressive those are. There's a lot going on in those wheels and you put some performance rubber on there and you got yourself, well, you got yourself a little, uh, little baby uh, hot crossover. I was gonna say hatch, but it's really a crossover. Now, of course, um, today vehicles are not just about what's under the hood, but you know, what's in the brain, in other words, technology. Uh, and Hyundai is making the Tucson specifically for tech savvy consumers. That's according to them, not me. Um, so you get things like, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is still standard, uh, and high-end audio um, systems like the Bose Premium. So if you're into, uh, well, good sounding audiophile music, then uh, you going to be loving the new uh, Tucson. Now let's keep going about technology because there's more. There's, uh, of course, a digital instrument cluster, dual stacked infotainment, and climate controls. Always fun when you're on a bump, right? Trying to hit those. It's always a little tricky. Um, Hyundai has been one of the earlier adopters to pioneer the Hyundai digital key. In other words, you can use your smartphone to do such things as, well, unlock the car, perhaps charge the car. Once again, I'd have to use that T word, but Tesla is in the forefront of that, letting you actually know not just uh, you know the state of the charge, but where the car is, software upgrades, yada, yada, yada. Uh, basically, you can even use uh, uh, the um, phone as your key, which I love, by the way. I 
can't go back to a physical key anymore once you have it stored in your phone. Uh, it just makes life so much easier, so much simpler. Just get rid of all those keys. Just have everything in your phone so when it gets stolen, your car gets stolen too. No, just kidding, but of course that is a concern. Um, it will be available in the, the H-Track all-wheel drive system, which adds uh, mud, sand, and snow modes. Once again, we're using um, the vehicle's ABS sensor to see which wheel is slipping and sending power to the one that's not. Uh, that's something you know that uh, works more or less in uh, mud, sand, and snow, uh, but then gets a little tricky when you start going up and over Tombstone Hill uh, because, well, you know we have to test it off-road to make sure that uh, it does more than just make you feel good about selecting the fact that you're in snow while it's snowing. All right, now uh, there has been, well, I would say a renaissance, that's probably the proper word, yes indeed a renaissance of safety equipment uh, that the manufacturers have brought uh, to a lot of automobile standard and I do mean cars not trucks because cars are way ahead in terms of getting safety tech than trucks but Hyundai is including a smart sense safety suite that's once again their word so that includes uh, Highway driving assist, let's just go through all these, forward collision assist with pedestrian detection, lane keep and following assist, basically just under level two autonomy, blind spot monitoring and collision avoidance, smart cruise control with stop and go traffic support, and safe exit warning. In other words, that's a really cool little feature. Um, it uses sensors to make sure that there's no bicycle or fast running pedestrian or oh, we just got a big dog, I guess, be a big dog that's gonna come fly by your car so when you open the door uh, the dog jumps in your car in your lap which would not be a good thing if you've got a Bernese mountain dog like we do who likes jumping in laps that's gonna be a problem when he gets bigger yeah anyway so you get all that good stuff uh, with uh, your Hyundai Tucson uh, and of course um, the thing you're most curious about and I am as well which is pricing and perhaps EPA information uh, we will get it closer to the car's launch which you may be wondering, when is the car going to launch? Uh, it's going to launch in the U.S. in the first half of 21 as a 2022 model. So uh, we're still at least, uh, what, six to eight months away from actually, uh, you know, getting our hands uh, on one, maybe a little bit earlier if uh, Hyundai likes us. Hopefully you like this video, Hyundai. Send us one early, please. Uh, and uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Your brand new 2022, gosh, Hyundai Tucson. Uh, and I'm hoping by 2022 all this COVID silliness is behind us so that I can once again be uh, at an auto show crawling through the inside of a new Hyundai Tucson and bringing it to you, uh, well, you know, from the actual vehicle as opposed to from the screen behind me. Thanks for watching. And by the way, guys, if you like TFL and you want to support us, um, check out our uh, shirts. Uh, they're available uh, and they're cool. See you guys next time. Ciao.